L.R., the liberal redneck here. Coming to you from a country where the contest to become president is becoming a lot more focused on the right of women to control their own bodies. And it is looking bad for any candidate with an R by his name. Traditionally, deep red Florida will have the right to get an abortion on their ballot in November. The same is true for conservative Arizona. Just because you are pro-choice does not mean you love abortions. It means you don't feel right telling others what to do in a situation you may never understand yourself. The major religious groups that have gone batshit crazy over the abortion issue are the Christian evangelicals tied to the MAGA cult leader, along with right-wing Catholic fundamentalists, and their numbers are shrinking, not growing. The cult leader claims sole responsibility for the end of Roe v. Wade, and it has become an anvil around his slim chances to regain the Oval Office, because women are even being denied basic prenatal care in post-Row America. A 20-year-old Native American woman, Brittany Pula, was convicted by an Oklahoma evangelical jury of manslaughter for the death of her 17-week-old non-viable fetus she faces four years in prison for a miscarriage she suffered less than halfway through her pregnancy. A pro-choice Democrat in Alabama just won a district Trump won in 2020 by 30 points after Republicans in the state went after IVF and abortion. JFK Jr.'s newly announced running mate, Nicole Shanahan, is anti-IVF. She claims women who have fertility issues can conceive children through exposure to sunlight instead. In a horrifying video, Texas Republicans call for the execution of women who receive abortions or IVF. A majority of current House Republicans endorse a nationwide abortion ban that also includes IVF. Two religious fanatical Supreme Court justices signaled they would allow an extremist administration, Republican, to use the 151-year-old Comstock ban to ban abortions nationwide. Republicans think birth control is about letting them control birth. President Biden has released a new ad on abortion claiming John Donald Trump does not trust women, but he does. Former President Jimmy Carter, himself a deeply religious man, had a sad but very telling statement about the reality for women worldwide. The truth is that male religious leaders have had and still have an option to interpret holy teachings either to exalt or subjugate women. They have, for their own selfish reasons, overwhelmingly chosen the latter. Their continuing choice provides the foundation or justification for much of the pervasive persecution and abuse of women throughout the world. American women are done with being second-class citizens held under the thumb of ignorant men. They are using the tool finally obtained by them in 1924 to correct a great wrong, the right to vote. Their participation in 2024 will be monumental, and Republican extremists should be very afraid. Because hell hath no fury like a woman wronged for generations upon generations. Thanks for listening, and remember, always vote blue.